Hello people, I'm Zoltria, and today we're making an Origami King. This can also be turned into a queen if you draw the thing correctly. Because, you know, it's very good. You can take off the beard and everything. Very customizable. So, let's get started. First, what you're gonna do is take this corner. Bring it down to this corner with a square piece of paper. Congratulations. Now, you want to undo that. Take this corner and bring it down to this corner. Excellent. Now we want to unfold that. Now you see we have two creases. What we want to do is take this edge and bring it down to this edge. And now put your finger right there, and take this corner, and bring it to this corner. It should make a crease kinda along the center here, if you do it correctly. Make sure you try and get it as neat as possible. Next you want to take this edge here, bring it down to this edge. And put your, corner, put your finger here, take this corner, and bring it down to this corner. Congratulations. Now, what you're going to do is take this corner and just make sure you turn it around. Make sure that every side has a crease. You see, there's no crease here. Then, what you do is a pow. Bang, you have a crease. Make sure that every corner has a crease because we need the creases. And then you want to take it apart. And then what you have to do is push this with the other finger till a bang it goes like that. And then you take these, squeeze them down, done. Congratulations, now you have this. So, now that you've done that popping and all that stuff, we're gonna make basically the base of the crane. We're gonna take this first edge here and bring it into the center. Congratulations. Now what you're gonna do, take this edge here and bring that into center as well. Congratulations. Now you wanna unfold that and take this corner and bring it up to this corner. Well, I guess you're not really trying to bring it up. You're making an imaginary line kinda across here. Bring that up. And make sure that you put these in. So you, you should there should be a crease here. Yes, tuck that in nice and neatly. Kinda like that. Remember, trying to be as neat as possible because origami that's not neat, it's not nice. Now I wanna fold that down. Now you have this flap. It's pretty flappy. Next we're gonna turn that around. What you're going to do is do the exact same thing on the other side. Remember, take this edge, bring it into the center. And do the same with the other side because we're symmetrical. And symmetrical is good. Next one to do is unfold that. Take this corner and bring it up to here. Congratulations. Now, you want to do the exact same thing, but with the other side. Bring this up, cross, fold it like that. Bang! Congratulations! So now you have all this. Now, you're gonna see how I'm doing this, because this might be a bit complicated for you. So, basically, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take this corner, bring it down. So then, it creates a triangle. I'm not part of the Illuminati, I swear. Okay, so next, what you're gonna do, you wanna unfold that, you should make a crease. You wanna switch this, and keep creasing it on every side. So that it has a lot of creases. Next, what you're gonna do, 
you're gonna take this edge here and put it along this edge crease. Sorry. Congratulations. Do the same with the other side. So take this edge and put it on that crease that you made. Congratulations. Now what you're going to do is unfold that, create a bunny ear fold. You're going to take these two edges and bring them into the center. And this thing should pop out. Just do that. Take this one, put that into the center as well. Squish it so then it makes this thing come up. You have to fold that upwards, make sure it's nice and flat. Put it to the side, bang. Now that we've got that, make sure it's nice and neat because it has to be neat, okay? If it's not neat, then it's not good, okay? To listen. So, I'm gonna do this to all the four sides that we have. Then on one, three more to go. See you on the other side. Okay, and we're done. So basically, what I did was I did the exact same fold to every single edge. So, for example, first we only had one, and then I flipped this over, it should be like this, do the same thing, bang, flipped it over again, it goes like this, do the same thing, do it to every single side, okay? Okay, good. So, now that I did that for every single side, here comes the hard bit to do. You see here there's a hole. What you have to do is put your finger in the hole. And you have to turn this corner up here into a square. What you do is you put your finger up there and put your other fingers in. Make sure you try to put that out. So this turns into a square. Good. So now it's kind of puffy. I'm gonna put that on the puffy side down and take these two, bring them in. So you should make this diamond shape, kind of in the center. That's perfectly fine. All you have to do is just put these down now. Make sure that they're aligned with the puffy part so that this stays a square. You see this is what happens when you do bed folding. This, this happens. It's so annoying. Okay, so good. Now we have this. I'm gonna bring all these these two flaps up, and then we're gonna turn this around. See this? We're gonna take that, open this up, and then you see where this meets. We're gonna bring that directly down, so that it aligns exactly down. So when you do here, see you have that. Now what you're gonna do is take these two flaps, bring them up with this, and do the same thing on the other side. Do that. Here, bang. Congratulations. That's a nice chair. Okay. So now that you have this, you look here on the puffy side and whoa! You have three spikes and a and spike and a square. Looks fascinating. So what you're gonna do is the part with the three spikes, you're gonna take this edge here. And kind of bring this edge into the center crease. Just like that. Congratulations, you did that. Now, you see up here, there should be a space here. Leave that there. Because you're kind of wanting to get the impression that this is the fluffy part of the crown. And this is the actual crown that's coming up. Now, that's pretty simple. Now, all we have to do is start the art. And we're done with the art. As you can see, this is the Oregon King. Now, the reason I didn't color in the beard like it did on the other one was because one reason. Since this is a king, in the title it said Queen as well. So now, turn this guy into a queen, you just have to magically do this. Take this, fold that up into there, and oh my gosh, where's his beard? 
Yeah, I know. Still looks like a prince. But still, you could say it's a queen, okay? You can't tell if there's a king or queen. Because he's actually a prince. That means you're racist. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And you learned from it. This could be a cool decoration for Christmas, if you ask me. Because that's coming up right around the corner in 25 days from now. So hope you guys enjoy. See you later. And make sure you don't take candy from strangers.